It's pretty lovely. Let's go. Scrapyard. Oh yeah, yeah. We're with Dylan and uh, Caitlin in the scrapyard now. Getting parts for these guys never throw anything out. Huh? Vehicle. So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped apart. It's just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for engines. Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. <laughs> Dylan. This emot actually looks a bit like Dylan. What the fuck? <laughs> That's Deist, isn't it? Is it PlayStation Deist? Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Try not to make <laughs> noise. Oh, right. Anything by you? Not yet. Keep looking. I have a lot of like blood marks, even though it's raining. I was thinking that. Um... Uh, is your out of ten game? Uh, are you finding? Um. Uh, not a realistic werewolf game. Um. Alrighty then. Surely we're not gonna get chased in here, right? Surely not. Oh yeah, I forgot that they're motion sensors, so they light up when you walk by. A documentary. No, shut up. Clint. I don't want to know how you know that, Waggy. I don't want to ask. Nope. I know that we could go upstairs, but I feel like upstairs is like the main direction, isn't it? learn from Magpan. <laughs> of course. Of course. Huey? He kind of does look like Huey. You're right. It's the same, like, type? He does give me, like, strong Huey energy, actually. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. Yeah, and you were supposed to be gone by now. Yeah, I was about to say literally that, man. The scroll request to keep something off the books is a little dodgy to say the least. There must be something here that they don't want anyone to know about. Okay. Who's T? Mm. Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. <sighs> Dodgy. Who said it? T is the policeman, no? I don't remember his name. I already forgot. Yeah, well, Satan, what's up?
Trevor? What's the name of the policeman, Trevor? Yeah. Okay. So I guess... That was a request for him. To keep something of books. Right. Definitely not a shady place to hang out, right? Definitely not attracting a shit ton of freaking werewolves right now. Oh, it was Travis. Trevor, Travis, same shit. It's a really good game, Rin. It's really okay. funny. He knows what he's doing. Probably safer than we are out here. Come on. But you're working, Satan? Is that what it is? I will actually be grinding Diablo probably on Thursday. Since we'll have sponsor on Friday. Diablo -do. Prepare to click links, chat. Work out your fingers. Super do diabo do furu. Yeah, Sleepy was asking if I should if she should wait and not buy the was it expansion yet? I was like, yes please. If you buy it with my link, that would be pog. Bro, this place is huge. Look. Look. So I will also wait, I suppose. Yes. I don't really know if I'm gonna have a specific so, link, but it will help regardless. I actually used to be. I'm sure they're tracking pretty, this pretty kind of good stuff. At the claw game at my local arcade, the kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh, uh. Oh, I hear that. Yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? Hmm. Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um, just uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. <sighs> Are there drops as well? Cool. All right. Looks like somebody's mom. Never taught them how to clean up after themselves. Okay, let's see what we're working with. Is Mika also gonna be a part of it or no? Alright, not too complicated. Back grabber. Now you're falling away, will you? What the hell is going on? My bad. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Alright. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Music for extra stealth. <laughs> and the lights flashing. I don't know if they react to lights. But they're hella loud right now. Hella loud. Yeah, uh, I think I found my calling. About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can 
Try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score. What are you, what is happening to you? Oh shit. You know what that means? Warren Caitlin, lift car. Nice, we'll leave car regardless. I wasn't sure if she's inside. How the fuck you want me to do that, baby girl? You have a gun, not me. Slam car, sound horn. I don't want to slam the car though. Holy shit! <laughs> that looked so... so junky. Girly pop. You should have dropped, you know, with the with the gun. Drop the car. I thought it was two of them. Was it only one? Get you. Just one. That was two for some reason. Okay. I didn't even see that there's Dylan, a ring around thank it. You. you actually saved my life. For realsies. Yeah, you know, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? To play me in the movie about how brave I am. Don't push it. So, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Yeah, yeah, Nex. I was about to say. Are you nuts? Yeah, better than being out in the open. Come on. <sighs> nice. We saved Caitlin. Pog. I feel like if we just lifted the car, she would have stayed on the bottom. Because she wasn't fully in the car. I think she would just fall out of it. I do not vibe with Dylan. Well, beginning Dylan was absolute fucking you annoying kind. Counselor at summer camp, Abby. You learn how to interact with people better and loads of fun. Friends for life. So sick of people telling me. What are you doing in here, Abby? Now. Why can't you just go in the lodge? Hello? <laughs> yeah, I also vibe with Max. <laughs> He's really funny. Hello? Anybody here? Hello? Hello? Sometimes I'm wrong. No. Hope it holds. Oh, fuck. Oh. 
What is she fucking doing? What? Did she just touch the ground for absolutely no reason at all? No. She just but like me. This way before he attacked us upstairs. That's the shells from the policeman shooting a while ago, right? When like Max and Laura were here. Someone's watching me. This is Chris's office, isn't it? Somebody's watching me, and I get no privacy. Oh, oh, oh. Rest a bit. Holy shit, we're not looking good. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. Do you smell that? No. Oh no. Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased, <laughs> stabbed. Sure. And another way out. Fine. Oh, we need to find Chris to kill him. So, um, for people that have no idea what's happening, like right now we're in this mansion that is basically owned by family that turns into werewolves eventually, like every, every month. And uh, we got beaten as well, so still. we're about to turn soon, but we're still Pretty human. On the right track. Stay close. And we. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. We can uh, lift the curse by killing the werewolf that beat us, and the person who beat us is a family member of this house, so. Watch your step. Yep. One of the family members that owns the house. So we need to find him so we don't become werewolfish. We're working on it right now. Somebody is literally tied down in there. What was that? Hey. I think we found Chris Hackett. Are we sure it's Chris? Son of a bitch. What if it's not him? Fine. That was easy. <laughs> Couldn't smell that you couldn't hear anything. What 
happened to the gun? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh. Fuck. Roberto! Hey, Ash Home. Who did they shoot? I hope it was not Laura. No, that was not Laura. <gasps> nice. She's back to normal because Chris is dead. It was Chris. Thanks. For not, not killing me. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, there is a choice. Choices that actually so, what now? make him kill you? Back to normal? This is over. This isn't over. Oh no. Uh, I don't understand. Chris is dead. Huh. Well, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. He works in this crop yard. What? I remember. Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. So, Chris that we just killed is a dad of the kid. And that is a werewolf as well, and he works in a scrapyard. He was a good man during summer. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. Wait, you serious, Anya? Been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. What? Can you use VPN? Huh? Long gone from the area, but we hope to get back some good in this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child, giant white wolf. White wolf. What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let him go! At the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We, we can help those who are still alive. Why should I trust you? Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh, still alive anyway okay okay so where would we even find him I know exactly where to find him okay let's go okay. this doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me I understand it's pretty funny how like she turned into a werewolf and when she turns back <laughs> she's wearing underwear Magical underwear appears when you're supposed to be naked. That's great. 
Can someone please get me some fucking clothes? You're wearing clothes. You're chilling. You had your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Why is she the angry? Past is the past. Let's just <clears throat> look to the future, shall we? That was your last chance. I can't help you anymore. You're on your own. Cool. Bye bye. Why is she angry that I didn't kill? The, the 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 whole family oh it's max yikes why am I on top of a fucking tree <laughs> Imagine, yeah, you just turn and you have no fucking clue what's happening to you. What? How the hell am I gonna get down? Get down on it. Get down on it. Has to answer. Well, that's one way to get down, so, you know. Why not? Enjoy your lunch, snacks. Where the hell are my clothes? Just take his clothes. There's police clothes. Is that Laura's outfit? <laughs> That's so slay. That is hella slay. I thought it was policeman bag. Harbinger Hotel. Oh, should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Average GTA online, Luke. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. That's Emma. Oh, no. So she's not dead. She's alive. She's just sleeping. I thought, like, Max just beat off her head, you know? I think she's actually just unconscious. Nice. Good thing you touched it. With your fingerprints. Well done. Very well done. Good job, Max. <laughs> Cheeky bit of evidence. <laughs> Bro, he he he's dressed like average housewife in Russia. It's so fucking funny. He just needs a small dog, and he's good to go.
Shadow. Yeah. Not everybody's a fucking creep like you are. Duh. Spams, dude. I don't want to dive. Swim to shore. Stay. I feel like Max is going to get stuck in those wires on the bottom of the lake. I don't know. Is he dumb? Let's see. Okay. Don't dive, just swim on the surface. This better have a great fucking ending. <laughs> I don't know how to swim. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Okay, so far so good. Oh. But he's already fucking werewolf, so it doesn't matter. Right? He didn't die from that. Oh, he got cured. <laughs> Well, unfortunate. Lolly. <laughs> ah, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> this happened to me as well. <laughs> okay. Well, can't get much worse than it already is, right? Oh, hold my beer. Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. Yeah, for real. And die of hypothermia? No. All right, well, we're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back the first chance they get. Great news, okay. All right. We gotta get a vantage point. Come on. I'm pretty sure she said advantage point, but it said vantage in subtitles. Use a boat, Damas. For real. Cute mug. She said advantage, I think. Like it sounded like she said it, that's what I'm trying to say. My advantage is my greatest advantage. Okay, buddy. That's where Bobby came from, no? How long has this guy been here? Ancestral portrait. A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> of course you do, Kedla. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you makes it stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. Boy. Love meets for life, we're proud, proud to, say. to say. Shout it stroud and shout out loud. We're hacketeers. <laughs> Two months and you never learn the words. <laughs> yep. 
That would be mean. Showtime, motherfuckers. So why did he take a car back? Come then. Keep it together. Not long till morning. <gasps> what was that? Too easy. What the? <laughs> That's smart. What the fuck? These guys are hella smart. They're the chimney. Big brain. I thought these guys are dumb. I feel like this can be Nick. Because he just ran off, remember? I would say. Wait. Don't move. Okay, maybe run. I like it. I was reading Chad. I blame B. Well, goodbye, Dylan. You'll be missed. Wait, tell me the baby chair is blocking the door? Oh my god. I gotta help her. Just tell us you don't like Dylan Bean. I can time this right. Beam window. What the fuck is beam? I love how I choose the option that I have no idea what it is. Then Caitlyn is good. Holy shit. Very athletic. Very good sense of balance. Oh no, run. No hiding, just fucking run, bitch. They can smell us. Over here, Caitlin! Go to the door. She'll give you the shell. You save both of them. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> the way she runs. <laughs> like a cartoon fucking character. Please. Alright, I might need to aim now. That's a cringe. I feel like it's Nick. They don't turn. 
when you kill them. I thought they turned back into human. Oh, he's lovely. Yeah, I had a very good weekend, B. Thank you. How are you? How was your weekend? <sighs> How did you do it? What exactly happened six years ago? So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. We're not in the hurry. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf who for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we going to find him just driving down the middle of the road? Well. <laughs> this fucking slow motion. <laughs> what was her face? What was that? Like, what? Ah, grab gun. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't reach the gun. Forget that. Just get in. Bro, just fucking take the gun. What? Why are they all sleeping out of nowhere? What? Fuck. How the fuck would he conk so hard? Yeah, could you do it earlier? Jesus. They don't die from it. Why? Get out and shoot. He could have just disappeared. He's got to be nearby. Silver tire. Are you crazy? What was this whole sequence? What? What the fuck was that? So he jumps on top of the roof. Somehow, Ryan just conks. Then we cannot reach the gun that is literally next to us. Like, what? Where's Ryan? He's asleep. He's just chilling. He conked. Are we there yet? You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Well, to be fair, he's stabbed still, so he is like a bit, you know, out of it. Over here, got some blood. Leads through there. What happened to her hair? What is going on? What the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? Why? Why? 
Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. You ready to end this? Let's fucking do this. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking do this. Wicked. Go team. Brand is so cringe. She's cringe. Stop talking. Let's go, team. Oh. Damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. The podcast didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, it's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Voorhees. Silas's mother. I th think. Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Mom of the year. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? I don't know. Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. And all she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. May bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. You never see Hayburn, Liza, or crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom, but Caleb got bit in the process. Okay, so all this started because some psychopath woman decided to give birth and then put her child in a fucking cage. And he was a fucking werewolf. And then two kids decided that it's their business to go and save that kid. Got beaten as a result, and everybody else got fucking beaten. Fantastic. We could just kill Caleb. <laughs> we could just kill Caleb. No, we're killing Silas. Moralists do not give birth. That is all. Do not. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking ah. in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Nothing. Holy damn. Almost two years. A, 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 A. Much love. Pee, pee, love. That was so loud for me. <clears throat> Marius, thank you so much for 22. Welcome back, gamer. How are you? Any sign? Negative. I lowered the volume for you so you don't get I never saw any of this. scared. I didn't even know this was here. But for me, it's hella fucking loud, John. Nice. 
No. Close. We must be close. Did you both see it too? Kind of wish I hadn't. Same. How is Travis so chill? Ghosty ladies just spooking them out, and then Travis is like, "Yep, just a, just a ghost." What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. He's a police officer. Like, police officers don't have emotions. Good one. Well, hello there. Fucking Jesus Christ. Wrong. What are you waiting for? Just fucking shoot. Shoot the stupid girl. Raise gun? Yes. Are you sure about this? Yes. I can shoot. I can kill him. Right up the bum holy. Please, let's just let's just go before we we have to see him like that in human form. It's too late for that. Why would you not shoot him? What the fuck? Why would you choose to not shoot him? I don't get it. She's angry at me for shooting her kid. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. I've been with you all night, and I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Well, according to the rules of the horror, like when there is the sun out, you cannot kill me. Dark. A whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. Yo, we got a wife for life. Hog. You've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. Okay, fine. Let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. I would if never you open are that. The one who sent us whatever it is. Congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really, really. There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. Oh my god, dude, just fucking get I to it. Door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. So, remember those missing hikers? Yeah. 
what if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras, photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry, supposedly where the camera was found? I would think that maybe they went there and they dropped their camera. That's what okay, Anton. Let me Jacob you found, right? What makes you drop your camera? The memory card from uh, the camera. Tripping over a root, um, being jostled, uh, in uneven uh, row of cobblestones. What about being murdered? If you dropped your phone, you wouldn't go missing. Where are they now? I don't know. People get lost in the woods all the time. There's like hundreds of people a year. They could be anywhere. That's not all. No? Mm -mm. I'm about to lay a little something else on you. Found a memory My card yesterday. Also tell me that their backpacks Friday. were found at the summer camp. Really? Then, okay, well then, shouldn't this be public knowledge? Why aren't the Hackett's prime suspects? Exactly my point. Maybe they would be if anyone knew where they were. Is it all just a big cover-up operation? Yeah, that's where it falls apart a bit, in my opinion. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? <laughs> that's cool, though. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was... That's where the mine comes that. from. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are, but I digest. Digress? It was the pun. They dug the quarry and hit great heights of success before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great... I cannot listen to her anymore. Holy shit, she's so annoying. Fucking shoot me in the face, brother. I can't. I tried. She's so annoying. Why can't you just normally tell a story? Why? 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 Oh, that's cool. That's hella cool, actually. I really like the... The book covers. Uh, I, yeah, I know. That was awful. The podcast thing. I don't know how Ryan listens to that shit. Oh, it's VHS covers? I thought it was books covers, I'm not gonna lie. You might look the Death Rewind feature. This feature allows you three opportunities within a single playthrough of the quarry to reverse the playable character's death and try again to save them. Uh, no, it's fine. Cool. We can live with our choices. Honestly, I'm happy that we kept all the people that I liked alive. Except Max. That was kind of... That was really hard to predict. Because I thought he's just gonna get left in there alone forever. And like, what, what the fuck does he do? R.I.P. Jacob, he meant well. No, fuck Jacob. I mean, uh, I'm not upset that he's dead. Whatever. Same as Dylan. 